Hi, welcome to Ray at the Movies, and this is going to be my last Blu-ray review of 2023. Now, I did a poll uh, this year to figure out what movies I should cover first. I already was planning on doing reviews on them. One of them was Poltergeist, Watchers 2, this movie right here, and there's a few others. I don't remember what they were. And Poltergeist had one by one vote. No one had seemed other really um, vote. And then they voted for, I suddenly went on there, and there was two votes for Leviathan, which gave it 67% out of um, The Abyss, which actually ended up losing. So I said, to be fair, since these two people voted for Deep Star 6 to be reviewed with a Blu-ray release, I'll go ahead and do it. I'll go into a little history of how I came to know about this movie. This movie was released on January 13th, 1989. It was one of the first of many underwater movies to be released in 1989 and 1990. It, uh, I believe Leviathan, which I actually have right here, was the second movie. And then I also have Lords of the Deep, which is, by the way, a Shop Factory exclusive. You cannot get this anywhere but on their website. And, uh, yeah, and the reason why I'm not doing a review on this movie right here, Leviathan, is because Kino Lauber has decided that they're going to release a 4K of this movie uh, next year, and I actually pre-ordered from Diabolic DVD. Now, I first, like I said, I think I said, uh, seeing the cover on VHS back in the day, which is going to predate how old I am, because VHS does not exist anymore. You can still buy them. And now they seem to make a resurgence. resurgence. Uh, companies are releasing VHS versions of their movies now. Not all studios. Don't mind the coffee. I really need it right now. So I had read the articles on Starlog Magazine, Fangoria Magazine. And there was another one called Gore Zone. But that one, I wasn't as into collecting as those two were. And Fangoria has disappeared for a while and then came back. Uh, Starlog, I forgot when their last issue was when they and when they stopped releasing. They're both owned by the same. They're both owned by the same company, but they had science fiction movies and then they had the horror movies, which was Fangoria magazine and the science fiction and TV movies. Uh, they had uh, Starlog. Anyways. So I knew about this movie, even knew what the monster looked like, and this scene kind of gives away what happens to one of the characters. But this was the original poster that you can see, and then the DVD poster I have, because I had to get an overseas one, has this bad boy. And anyways, uh, I've rented this movie a lot because it's a fun movie to watch. It's not the best movie. Uh, but it's a fun watch. It's a fun popcorn movie to watch. And it's a movie that I rewatch along with The Abyss and Leviathan. Both movies I watch a lot. So I'm now going to go into my little trivia stuff that I like to go into. First, I'm going to do the trivia uh, about this movie. And then I'm going to talk about the Blu-ray and whether you should buy it and my thoughts about the movie. The fil this film was the first released in January 1989 as, as the first of four underwater creature movies which included Leviathan, The Abyss, and Lords of the Deep. All came out in 1989. Writer Louis Apathy, I can't say his name, sorry, sold his script at the same time that friend James Cameron was working on his own underwater monster saga. Despite Cameron's asking that he delay this movie to avoid competing with the abyss, Apathy went ahead and was therefore deemed person non, non gracious with Cameron. I accidentally think I deleted some of the stuff that uh, would have made this line make sense. And associates until they pitched together their a friend patched together their friendship with a friend accompanied Cameron on September 1995 filming of the wreck of the Titanic for Titanic 1997 but not any actual dives through the wreck itself. 
Deep Star 6 was the first release of several underwater monster-themed feature films released during 1989 and 1990, including The Abyss, Leviathan, The Evil Below, and Lords of the Deep, and The Raft, The Rift, which is also known as Endless Descent, by the way. Uh, with the exception of The Abyss, none of these films were box office hits. Originally, Robert Herman was going to direct the film. However, when he left, Sean S. Cunningham stepped in to the direct to, into direct the film with a budget of eight hundred thousand dollars. The creature was intense in, uh, intentionally designed by Chris Wallace, who who then turned his production designs over to FX head Mark Schustrom. Schustrom made slight altercations and changed the creature's color scheme. Producer Shane S. Cunningham developed the idea in 1987 with the express purpose of being the first release of this on the state slate of upcoming underwater action sci-fi films which he actually succeeded he was the first one to release the movie uh, underwater monster movie at that time this is a third film directed by sean s cunningham to, to feature actor ron Corell in a role after friday the 13th and spring break Occasionally, in these those previous two films, he played a policeman, whereas in this film he plays a submarine pilot. One of six underwater themed. I, they repeated this in the trivia, and I didn't pay attention, so I'm still going to list it. One of the six underwater themed uh, science fiction monster movies released around 1989, 1990. Others include The Abyss, Leviathan, Deep Star Six, and The Evil Below, and The Rift, and Lords of the Deep. I don't know why they have this so many times in there, but that's okay. Not only does this film have some of the theme deep ocean scientific studies to Leviathan, which was released the same year, but the plots are also almost identical. The science team comes across an unknown organism in extreme depth. It hunts them one by one and finally follows the few survivors up to the surface, which I'm not kidding. They do follow a, a similar theme, what happens in this movie. Leviathan and Deep Star 6. I think Leviathan came out soon uh, after. I could be wrong. But uh, Lords of the Deep, I think, was direct video and so was Endless Descent, which is also known as The Raft in other countries. All right, let's go into the cast. And if I butcher their names, I am sorry. We have Greg, Greg Evan, My Two Dads from 1987 to 1990, Tech War of the Series from 1994 to 1996, Tech War, Tech War, Tech Lords, Tech War, Tech Lab, Tech War, Tech Justice, that all came out in 1994. And I believe because these TV movies were so successful and they were on USA Network at the time. Nancy Everhard. The Trial of the Incredible Hulk, The Punisher, 1989, with Dolph Lundgren. Another 48 Hours, Urban Legends, Bloody Mary. And now, Torrin Black. I can't say Bleak. I, I, I can't say the guy's name, and I apologize. I'm not very good at pronouncing people's names. Rocky II, Hill Street Blues, from 1981 to 1987. Oliver and Company, Miguel Ferrer, who no longer is with us, of course. He's a great actor. He's going to be missed. Some of these people, of course, have passed away. Um, he was in Star Trek Three: The Search for Spock. I didn't realize that. i got to rewatch that film now. Robocop, Revenge, The Guardian, Point of No Return, Hot Shots, Part Duke. Nia Pebbles, North Shore, Blues Brother 2000, Half Past Dead, Battle of Los Angeles, and Matt McCoy, Police Academy 5 and 6, The Hand That Rocks the Cradle, and L.A. Confidential. Cindy Pickett, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Hot to Trot, Sleepwalkers, Morris Wares, The Gods Must Be Crazier, Crazy, Gandhi, Farewell to the King, Ella Baskin, Rise, Raise the Titanic, 2010, The Year We Make Contact, The Name of the Rose, Air Force One, Tom Bray, The Prowler, Prince of Darkness, House Three, The Horror Show, Ron Coral, Friday the 13th, House, House 2, directed by Sean S. Cunningham, Friday the 13th, The New Kids, and Terminal Invasion. He didn't direct a whole lot of movies, but he's produced a lot, of course. Written by Louis Athesy, like I said, 
And he uh, wrote the story and the screenplay, I believe. It says written, but I believe it means to say a screenplay. But that doesn't matter. He did um, Terminal Invasion was the only script he wrote. And then, of course, Geoff Miller, who did House 4 and Hellbender screenplays. Music by Harry Manfredini, which is my one of my favorite composers. Uh, he did all seven Friday the 13th films. Of course, he also did, I believe, Jason Goes to Hell. And then he also did Swamp Thing, House 1 through 4, Cameron's Closet, which is a good movie. And I hope it gets a proper release on Blu-ray because it's only had a DVD and VHS release, I believe. And I only own that movie on digital. Now, there's a lot of people... Um, they listed that, that did the creature effect, that did special effects and I, there's too many I'm only gonna name um, two of them and I think I accidentally missed one of the uh, did I no I didn't okay but I'm gonna go ahead and list the uh, write down the name of the two special effects artists that I know James Cummins, I've heard of him. Um, where's Ro Robert Kurtzman? And then there is Rick McCallum, uh and Greg Nicotero. Now, this movie has a lot of bonus features. And this came out, just so you know when it came out. Hold on. I'm going to read, oh, I'm going to read the synopsis. I love this. Far below the surface of the unforgiven sea, the Darren crew of Deep Star 6 are explorers in a forbidden world, forbidden world, of impenetrable darkness and unimaginable pressure. They have invaded the icy phantoms into which no human has ever ventured. Their mission is to establish a top secret Navy base on the ocean floor. But something's down there, and the crew of Deep Star 6 are about to make a startling discovery. There is no escape from the terror of the deep, Deep Star 6 will plunge you into the depths of fear. Save your last breath to scream. This was released by Kino Lover on October 13th, 2020. The extras are auto commentary with director Sheen S. Cunningham and visual effects supervisor James Isaac. Uh, that one I heard, that was on the DVD that I had bought. Auto commentary with screenwriters Lewis Apathy and Gelaf Miller, which I didn't know, but that one's new. Isolated score selections and audio interviews with composer Harry Manfredini from the deep interviews with Creature Effects special makeup designer Mark Shortstrom, Creature Supervisor Greg Nicotero, and Creature Artist Robert Kurtzman. The Survivors interviews with actors Greg Evan and Nancy Everhard. Water damage an interview with stunt coordinator Kane Hodder. Original EPX. Extended vintage interview clips, behind the scenes footage, theatrical trailer, TV spot, image gallery, and limited card, which I don't think I have the card. No, I don't. i lucky that I even have a slip cover. So here's the original cover that there was of it, and there's the uh, back, and you can see, if you can see, there you go. There you go. And there's the extras, if you can read that. And then they have, of course, a reversible cover. Do I recommend this? Yes, I do. This is, if you're really a fan of this movie, they did a good job restoring, doing a restoration of this film. It looks fantastic. And on DVD releases here in the States, it was pan and scan. I had to get an all-region player just to get the DVD import which was widescreen and had bonus features because there was nothing. It was bare bones. I think the only thing it might have had was a uh, theatrical trailer. So if you're a fan of this film and you're thinking about buying this movie, buy it because it is worth it. The special features are might not be as much, but they're, they're good. They're fun to listen to and especially the auto commentary with the director. Is this a perfect film? No. I actually like the creature effects are good, but I actually have to say I like the creature effects in this one, Leviathan, better. They're both good films and follow a similar theme. They really do. And they both have great casts. The cast fantastic. 
Everybody does a good job. The music score by Harry Manfredini is really good too. So, if you come across this in video stores or online, don't be afraid to purchase this. Now, Kino Lauber does have sales. And that's how I was able to get Deep Star 6. They had a sale. And I don't remember how much it cost. Um, so with that, I'm out of here. I'm going to tell you what I give the movie. I give it out of 5 stars, 3. Because it's not a perfect film. And neither is Leviathan. But there's also good news. Because next year, not only are they releasing... Leviathan on 4K, Kino Lauber, but James Cameron is finally going to be releasing his movies um, True Lies, The Abyss, and Aliens in 4K next year. So I'm looking forward to that and will pre-order uh, both Aliens 4K and The Abyss when they become available. Right now they're not because they're like further down I uh, for a release in March, I believe. So with that, I am out of here. This is going a little bit longer than I wanted to, but there's a little bit of stuff I wanted to cover. I really do like the effects. The specs aren't too bad. They're really good. The creature effects design looks fantastic. And like I said, the cover kind of gives away one of the characters' fates in the movie. Uh, it's one of the best kills in the movie um well no there's another kill a few uh, things that happen in the movie but it's a fun movie it doesn't drag it's not boring to me it keeps me engaged and so does leviathan now real quick this is an exclusive lord of the deeps lord of the deep if you've seen the movie and you liked it pick it up if you didn't there is not really anything special except for a Mystery Science Theater 3000 episode. So I don't even know if I'm going to review this. But if you do want me to review it, I'll go into it. Alright, because then I have to re-watch it because the movie kind of dragged. Um, but I don't remember if I saw it. So with that, I'm out of here. This is going a little bit too long. Hopefully this video does well. This is going to be the last video. I'm out of here and hope I did justice to those who voted for this movie here. With that, I am out of here. Have a happy and safe new year. Peace.